Hi, I'm Melanie McWhorter, and for this week's Book on Video, we chose to focus on Peter Hugo's There's a Place in Hell for Me and My Friends. In his book, There's a Place in Hell for Me and My Friends, Peter Hugo photographs many of his friends and relations who call South Africa their home. Unlike many of Hugo's previous portraits, he manipulates the digital color format, creating what is often ethnically ambiguous portraits of the sitters. He converts the color file into black and white while keeping the color channels active and darkens the red and yellow color channels, making them into dark grays and blacks. This process highlights the two types of melanin, the red or phenomelanin and the very dark brown or eumelanin. The resulting images also expose any sun damage caused by the skin's efforts to protect from excessive UV damage. The book's designer, London-based graphic designer Damien Pollan, is very familiar with Hugo's work. Having designed Hugo's previous publications, Hyena and Other Men, Permanent Error, Nollywood, and Looking Aside, and it's lushly printed by, Opt by Optimal Media in Germany. It contains 96 plates, some frontal headshots, while others are a sequence of profile images, breaking up the cadence of the confrontational portraits. The reading of Hugo's series speaks more about the viewer than the photographer's ideas. I found myself looking through the book, trying to figure out what color the person was in daylight, and I suspect that I am not the only exception. It made me reconsider the idea of race and my perception of skin color. Selecting to work with friends and family from varying ethnic backgrounds and to work in his home country that has such a long history of heated race relations, Hugo forces us to take another look at our perception of skin color and the protective layer that often defines an individual to themselves and to others.